Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Friday, August 7th, the feast day of Pope Sixtus II, who was beheaded and martyred in 258 AD after just one year of being Pope. And today's gospel is from Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 through 28. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay everyone according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they, until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. <clears throat> so we've got the conditions of discipleship this morning, uh, in which the footnote says, covering the whole thing, it says it's a readiness to follow Jesus, even to give, giving up one's life for him, is the condition of true discipleship. And this will be repaid by him at the final judgment. So, uh, Jesus is asking us to, to de- in order to deny someone, is to disown him. So, if you deny oneself, is to disown oneself as the center of one's existence. Um, so, if the only person that we think about in the morning is, is ourselves, or throughout our day is ourselves, then we're really not um, living a life for Jesus and, and for God, because God, God is love, so we must love everybody um, and put them first before ourselves. And we will all be repaid according to our con- conduct at the end of time. Um, so that's just a reality check that we're not all going to make it to heaven. Some of us will, some of us won't. And it's our job to make sure that we, we live ourselves, we live our lives in a way so that we make it to heaven. So we don't have to worry about anything uh, by how we treat others, um, by our words, by our actions, um, and just overall, our overall conduct. So the challenge... Uh, is, of course, uh, to eliminate selfishness. Uh, so we must let go of our selfish desires and uh, particularly our concern for material possessions, um, especially uh, those in the U.S. We, we are very concerned with material possessions um, as well as only caring about what we want as opposed to others. So that's the goal, to put others ahead of ourselves all the time um, and, and, and dying to ourselves so that we can truly follow Jesus. And as a, a final note, uh, if we could offer prayers up for the Gillespie family uh, as they lay their son Grant to rest this afternoon. So have a great Friday uh, and start to your weekend. And God bless. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen.